Hello everyone and welcome to this Blender tutorial. Today we will be learning how to create a day and night cycle in the Blender game engine. My name is Blender in the Sky and let's get started. So what I have set up here is a basic daylighting system which you can check out how to make that in another tutorial I made. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a sun lamp and we're gonna put the cursor to it and create a circle. We're going to rotate the circle and scale it up in the edit mode so we don't get scaling issues. And we're going to rotate this by 90 degrees. And now, we're going to grab our sun, move it up there, right? And we're going to parent our sun to the circle. So now we can control where our sun is, how our sun is rotating with this simple circle. Okay. So, you might have to adjust your shadow settings if you move the sun back too much and there's no shadows appearing there. But, it's good for me. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna duplicate our sun, move it down here and rotate it by 180 degrees. And this is gonna be our moon, so we're gonna call this moon, right? And the moon's gonna have a bluish material, because moonlight's blue, and a very low energy like 0.05 something like that and that should be good so we now should have our basic two lights our main lights so what we're gonna create next is an empty cube which will basically be our controller for the whole day and night cycle so this is where we apply all the logic and we're actually gonna start by creating a property here called time this is gonna be a float and we want this to always add I'm gonna zoom this up in a bit always want to add to our property time plus one with a skip of say zero for now and now if this property time reaches a thousand we want it to be set back to zero so it's gonna repeat all the time and that's gonna be our day and night cycle and we can easily change the speed of it using this um, controller here so let's create an animation for our circle here which is gonna be right a thousand frames long so we're gonna put a keyframe here for rotation then we're gonna move to frame 500 500 and we're gonna rotate it by 180 degrees and we're gonna put another keyframe then we're gonna go to frame 1000 and we're gonna rotate it by 180 degrees again and put a keyframe here rotation good so what I wanna check right now real quick yeah we got some moon shadows that's great moonlight shadows are always good so we got our circle animation and this is an action so we're gonna call this lamps or lights or whatever whatever you want and we're just gonna plug this action in here and we're gonna create another property called time here right and we want this to always property this to always copy copy the property time from our empty so this property is always gonna equal the property time on our empty so we can make changes to our empty and it's gonna change the way it behaves here and then we're gonna plug in our animation here and change this to property we're gonna put the lamps animation in here and put the property to time and this should make our circle rotate so if we go in and press P this is called lamps right so it should be working so I found out what's not working. Um, this is because I accidentally set this to assign to 5. But we're going to put this to add plus 5. So now, this was just for testing. Um, now this circle should rotate. So if we check this out. Yeah, there you can see it. Our lights are moving and they're rotating. But what's happening now, our sun's kind of stopping, which is not looking good. So we're going to go in here and press V and we're gonna turn these into vector keyframes so the timings already always gonna be the same so we get linear rotation and that's what we need 
Okay, so that's the rotation of our lights set up. So next, we're gonna need um, the color and the strength of our lights to be animated. So what we're gonna do is go to our dope sheet again, because this will not appear as an action. And this is called sun, okay. And we are on midday now, so these values are perfect. Then we go to frame 650, because that's where we want our um, night to begin. So our sun's intensity is gonna be zero here. Okay. So at frame 300, that's looking good. That's when our sun is below the ground. And that's where our intensity should be at zero. So we don't want our sun there anymore. And then we're gonna copy this keyframe over to frame 1000 again. And this keyframe is gonna go to right, 700. Great. So this keyframe goes to 700 and so now we got our strength, sunlight strength set up. Now we want this to change color a bit. So in the evening we want our sunlight to be kinda orangey as well as in the morning. So we're gonna change this to a nice orangey color. And the strength is actually fine, so I'm gonna leave that. And I'm gonna copy this keyframe over to the morning too. So should be giving us some nice looking lighting. Yeah, it's changing to the evening, it's getting even more orangey and then it's intensity is going down. Alright. So now we gotta put this animation in here. What, what are we gonna do? We're actually gonna copy gonna select the circle and our sun lamp and the circle again so the circle is active and we're gonna copy our logic bricks and we're gonna copy game properties so now the sun's gonna do the same thing as the circle but we don't want this to play this lamps animation but we want the sun to play the sun action one in my case in your case it should be sun action but um, I actually did this before and I forgot to delete the animation so in my case it's sun action one so if we play that as you can see it's kinda going really quick here our sunlight is orangey and yellow and orangey but this is actually fading out too early for me so we're gonna put this right to 350 gonna change these keyframes a bit you can also adjust them yourself Make it look good. That's all you need. So this one's gotta go to 650, if I'm not mistaken. Right. And let's make the speed go a little slower here. Like this. And that's looking pretty good. Let's see for the morning, morning. Yeah! That's nice. So the next thing's gonna be our moon. And the moon's kinda ha gonna have the same same keyframes as our sun. Oh, that's actually our sun. So select your moon and check at which keyframe the sun's intensity is at zero. So that's here. And actually before that, actually here that's where our moon's gonna start appearing. That's where we want our moon's intensity to be like 0 0.02, pretty low. And at frames 500 in the noon, we want our intensity to be the highest intensity. And same thing, we're gonna put this to 800. Okay, so we're gonna copy game properties and we're gonna copy logic bricks again. And then we're gonna grab our moon and put in here. We're gonna put in moon action or moon action one in my case. And now if we check that out, we should have the 
this working, right. So we'd now just have to animate our fill lamps to also change their strength and they have some actions applied still. So I'm gonna leave this on here because that's basically the same setup as with the moon, you can do this yourself now. Um, but we're also gonna create an animation here, which is gonna turn their values down. So at frame 0 or 1, we're gonna have them at a high strength like this, like 0.06 or something like that. And frame 200, which is evening, I'm gonna put them down to 0 0.02. And at, um, well, when's our sun gonna be out here? Yeah, at this frame when our sun's gonna be out, these are also gonna go out. And then I'm gonna check when is our sun going back on or when is it still out. I'm gonna put this keyframe here again, like so. And then we're gonna grab our moon and jump to its keyframe and I'm gonna copy this keyframe over here. Simple as that. I'm gonna copy our final keyframe over to frame 1000. And this should now be called fill action if I'm not wrong. Fill action one. So this hemi is gonna copy logic break, then gonna copy game properties. Okay. So now we only need this last light here, which is our bounce. And this should basically have the same animation as our fill. So I'm quickly gonna do this and I'm gonna fast forward here. Okay, so our lamps should be set up. Let's play this. Yeah, as you can see our lighting is changing. What's kind of weird is that our bounce, our floor reflection light is not really working for now. How is this action called then? Oh, empty. You should take this property. Didn't copy the property. Wait, these don't copy the property. Why doesn't this work? Why didn't that work? This has the property, this has this. This has it. Good. So now they should be working properly. Let's check out the lighting. Great! So you can see our lamps are working. Now the next thing is animating our mist. And we can actually now animate mist color, which is why you need to use Blender 2.75 to do this. Which is the version where you can animate your mist color, right? So we're gonna put a keyframe here. And if it's getting evening, which is at frame 200, we're gonna make the mist go orange. Kinda like so. And at night time, of course, the mist I'm gonna do this a bit earlier. The mist's gonna be black. Maybe not completely black, like grayish something. And this should be at night. No, that that should be earlier, right? So we're gonna put this here. Come on, yeah. I'm gonna copy this keyframe over here. Same thing as always. And what we can also change, which is, which is quite awesome, is the depth of our mist. We can animate this. So we're gonna put a keyframe here, and at night time, I want this mist to come a little bit closer to me. Something like that. And so again, we're gonna copy these keyframes over and over.
Good. So now we should grab our empty and put in, plug in this action. And it's gonna play our world action. World action one in my case again. And it's gonna also be controlled by time. Okay, so this should change our mist. And now the last thing is our skydom. So for this, we're gonna create a new material, which is shadeless, which is gonna be our night sky. It's gonna get a new texture with some stars on it. And if we apply this texture, this material, sorry, we can see our stars in the sky. Yeah, that should be good. So what we're gonna create is a new material and this is gonna be our node material and we are gonna call this sky dumb or something like that I've got this already okay so this is sky dumb gonna make this a node material and in the first slot we're gonna plug in material 1 we are assign our sky dumb to the material we're gonna duplicate the material and we're gonna put in our Material 2 or night, you can call it if you want. And then we're gonna put in a color mix node, like so. And now, if we have a look at this here, I'm gonna size this up a bit so we can see it. If we move the factor, we can change from our day sky to our night sky, right? That's great. So, we can't actually animate this value, that's not working. So what we need to do is grab an input, lamp data, and we're gonna put in our sun, sun01 in my case, or sun, no, sun. So, if we now plug this color into our color output, and we now scroll through our frames, you can see that our skydom takes the same color, has the same color as the sunlight's color. And what we can do is using a color ramp, I'm gonna quickly create a color ramp here, put this in. This is gonna give us a grayscale version of the same thing. And if we now add some more contrast to this, like so, we can adjust this here. And this is gonna be used now as our factor for the mixing. Now it's kind of turned around so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap these and if you now scroll through the timeline should be able to see our sky is changing. Maybe we're not gonna swap those but we're gonna plug in and color invert here. We can change when this is changing with our color ramp which is pretty cool so now we're gonna check if the transition is good or not so we want this to stay date like a little bit longer like that what kind of bothers me right now is our mist colors looking a bit bad like it's looking great here, it's looking good, it's looking good. And then when it turns to black it goes over some weird weird color. Like here. I don't want that. So gonna create create another keyframe here. Just for good looking. Yeah. That's better. Okay. So now, we should actually be set up. If we press play, you can see it's changing. We got our mist changing, we got our lighting changing, we got our shadows moving, and everything's looking pretty good. So now the fun part of it is adjusting these values here. To make it look nice so because this is a float you can also use decimal numbers so we can change this to something like 0 0.1 and if we check this out now our day is actually passing a lot slower which is great 
because that's what would be realistic, right? But I'm not gonna wait so long now, so we can we'll make this go a bit faster here again. 0 0.05, and what we can also do is set up an offset. So if you want the day to start, the game to start in the night, you just put in 600 here, and what we got is our nice night. And the game is starting here, and then it's getting morning. So that's actually pretty cool and pretty easy to use, and it's a great system for creating a day and night cycle. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye.